We do inventory management tutorial step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with inventory management using Udu. So let's jump right in. Now Udu is a tool that has multiple different segmentations and a software that can be diversified into a larger ecosystem as well. So if you're just looking for inventory management or looking for much more, Udu has solutions for all. Now, if you're looking to get started with your own tool, with just inventory management, simply go on to udo.com and scroll down and click on inventory. From there, you will be able to use the inventory management tool separately. Click on start now, it's free to get started for free using Udo. Now over here, you're going to have instant access to Udo's tool. Simply type in your first and last name, then type in your email address like so. Add your company name and then add your phone number, primary interest and company size to proceed. Once you have completed your sign up, you will have a activation email sent. So simply open up your mailbox and verify your account on Udo to proceed with Udo's inventory management tool. Click on activate your dashboard to be able to access all the features of Udo. Now from here, you're going to have to create a suitable password for your Udo account. And you need to make sure that it is eight characters. Click on activate database over here to activate your Udo database. Now that our Udo database is activated, we can proceed with our colleagues. So we can invite more colleagues or skip this step for now. Click on go to derden.udo and then click on inventory. Once you click on inventory, you will see a inventory overview. Now over here, you have the option to link menu in spreadsheet and create a inventory flow from your spreadsheets. So you can click on your inventory overview to get started with putting in inventory items. Now on the top, you have the option to view different receipts as well. So you can go into your receipts processes to view your processes in inventory and then your delivery orders to view delivery orders. You can take a look at your overview, different operations such as physical inventory, scrap, procurement, as well as receipts and deliveries. Click on products on the top right to first add your product. So you will click on new products on the top left. Once you click on new products, you can add your first product. Let's say for us, this is going to be our YouTube logo T. Then you can add general information about the product, whether it is a consumable product, whether it is a service, or whether it is a storable product. So let's say this is going to be a storable product. Below that, we can add our sale price. So let's say it's 88 and then our cost price as well. Adding sale and cost prices can help us in managing our profits and losses with Udo as well. Below that, we also have our product category. Whether this is an expense, saleable, or you can even add your own customized product category. For us, this is a saleable product, which means that it is going to be sold. We can add an internal reference code, a barcode, and we can also add a product template tag that we might be using in our pre-existing software systems. Then you can also add internal notes and once completed, your product will be created. Now on the top, you can click on extra prices, documents on hand, forecasted, and in and out and reordering rules. Click on update quantity over here to update the quantity. So let's say I have 50,000 units in stock. Click on apply over here. You can click on print labels to start printing labels with the price as well. Now, once you have completed this, you can proceed with your next function, which is going to be building your receipts and deliverables. So these are different operations. You can click on your receipt on the top left to add a receipt. Let's say I am supposed to receive from a new supplier. So I can go on ahead and create a new contact over here. So I can go on ahead and go into new and then create a new contact, which is going to be maybe R A 
AKK prints. And then I can add more info, but I will just click on save and close. And I'm supposed to receive, let's say I will add a line, a new product, which is going to be called our minimal, or let's say this is going to be called our zoo print t-shirt like this. And after that, I can add the demand that I have for the product that I want to receive. So let's say I want to receive 30 units just as a tester. Let's say I want to receive 2000 units just as a tester for my stores. Then once completed, I can go on ahead and add a schedule date. So let's say I am supposed to receive these in around two weeks, um, let's say over here. And I can also add a source document. Once done, I can click on mark as to do on the top left. I can also click on send a message to send a message to people following this particular operation. You can also click on print and print labels to send this particular receipt out. So if I want, I can configure this document and send this out as a document in the mailbox. Below that, you can pretty much do the same thing for your deliveries. So if you are supposed to to receive a delivery, you can add your delivery address. So if it's for you or if it's for the other business, you can add your product as well. So for our delivery address, I will create a new contact, which might be my own store. So this is going to be Lily's Bradford store like this. And this is going to be a company, let's say. And I can click on save and close over here. And then I can add a line product, which might be my pre-existing product. So I will add my YouTube logo T and I'm going to be sending out 6,000 units of that like so. Click on over here and click on mark as to do. Now it's ready and I can click on done over here. So when my task is completed, I can mark it as done. So if I go back into my deliveries, I say it is ready. I can click on validate on the top left and validate that this has been sent and received. And now this is going to be a completed operation in Udo's inventory management system. I can also go into managing my operations with physical inventory and scraps. Your physical inventory will show you the quantity on hand, counted quantity, any difference. So if you logged in that you received 10,000 units of a product, but later on when you actually viewed it, you noticed that you only received 9,500 products. So you can manage the difference and make sure to clear that with your suppliers. And just like that, you can get started with Udo's inventory management. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about Udo, about any other tool regarding inventory management, CRM, sales, marketing, or anything at all, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and know what you guys have to say. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.